Hello everyone, I'm ExtraTZ87 and this is Let's Play Persona 4 Arena Part 6. In the previous video, we continued our journey with Broske here. We got to do our first fights against Chio Chie and Yukiko. We just uh, finished beating up Yukiko at the end of the last video and now we're going to uh, talk to her where she's slightly less mean to us, hopefully. I'm still scared of my wits, but I try and talk Yukiko? to her. Are you alright? Oh, thank goodness. You've gone back to your usual self, Yosuke-kun. What do you think Yosuke was saying to her? <laughs> what? Oh, are you back to normal too? Huh? But you just seem so eager to fight no matter how I tried to stop you. You said things like, I was taking the easy way out. I was sure that you just weren't in your right mind. You noticed that Tere and Risei-chan are acting strange too, right? I think maybe they're under the enemy's control. That doesn't sound good. Crap, so this isn't just an act? They're being mind controlled or something? That explains a lot, actually. Damn it, some surprise party. Still, Teddy's controlling people? Or is Teddy being controlled by somebody else? Control. Who could make them act that weird? No ordinary person could pull that off. And why would they do it to start a stupid tournament like this? I think back to what Yukiko said before we fall. It's a Grand Prix for you, Yosuke-kun. For, for me? Like, hell it is. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not enjoying it. Okay, maybe a little bit. I'm not! In any case, I'm gonna go put an end to this Grand Prix. If it's just us four, there's only one more battle to go. Yukiko didn't know what was going on either, so I explained what I'd found out. Only the winner can move on. And nobody can leave until they're the champion. And that since I'd fought Chie and Yukiko, my next fight should be with you, and that would be the end of it. Oh, and one more thing. There was a student council president. He wasn't in that intro movie that aired on the Midnight Channel, and she acts like she's against this whole thing, so I don't think I'll end up having to fight her. But she doesn't know about Persona, so I can't just let her run around loose. Oh, do you mean the girl with the ponytail? Yeah. You met her? Mm -hmm. When I talked to her, I mean, she said she was going to the announcement room. I tried to stop her, but an invisible wall blocked my path. Personally, if I were to use one thing to describe her that, you know, makes her stand out, it would probably be her blood red eyes. I'd be like, hey, yeah, the girl with the demon eyes? Yeah, yeah, I saw her. Not ponytail, because plenty of girls have ponytails. Oh yeah, that's right. She said she was going to the announcement room to stop Rize. Uh, that's not good. If Rize is being controlled by someone behind all of this... That girl's in danger. Really? Sorry, I gotta go. I'll end this as fast as I can and come back for you. Oh, okay. Be careful. And try to help out that girl. I'm sure you can do it, Yosuke-kun. Got it. Yosuke's clear, strong voice gives me that extra push. Or Yukiko's clear. I was like, wait, what, Yosuke? This tournament might look stupid, but if there's some third party behind this, it may be more serious than I first thought. Anyway, to the announcement room. Beats, don't fail me now. Come on, run into the wall. Run into the wall. Damn it! It's supposed to be pretty easy to get to the announcement room, but thanks to all these stupid invisible walls, I have to take the scenic route. I finally managed to make it to the second floor. If I keep going straight, I'll get to the stairs and then I'll be right there. Ah, Miss President! I found her. I can see her running up ahead, her long ponytail trailing out behind her. But there was another shape next to her, a round, familiar one. Over here! Over here! Teddy! Damn it, was I too late? I tried to catch up, but I ended up slamming into an invisible wall and falling to the ground. Ow, that felt like my butt cracked. <laughs> Come on, don't pull me like that. Yosuke's used to running into shit, okay? He's got he's got strong bones at this point. Miss President, are you okay? Let go of his hand. That bear's not in his right mind. I shot out hoping that I can at least get my voice to reach her, but the two of them disappear through the emergency exit at the end of the hallway. And so is it one you think that's like real Teddy possibly? Because he didn't have the hat on. And I mean, I guess real Teddy's around here somewhere. I knew it, she might be strong, but Miss President isn't a match for a persona toting Teddy. 
she has to have been captured. I mean, Teddy, Teddy do be one of the strongest characters in P4. Teddy's not the type to kidnap a girl like that. Uh, I think. I mean, he wouldn't do anything if she didn't want him to, at least. I mean, he's like a kidnapper, but he's not like a raper or nothing. <laughs> I mean, he's just like, he just commits like one felony. He doesn't commit like the really bad one. Where is he taking her? Is he up to something? Then it dawns on me. If that girl doesn't have a persona, how did she get in the TV world? In order to get into a TV, you have to either have the power to use personas or get someone to, who helps you too. Who does to help you. And by help, I mean that person could force you too. That's actually what was happening in the series of murders last year. Horrible thoughts start to race through my mind. Is that what's going on with Miss President? Is she just another victim? Victim. That word brings to mind someone else. Saki Senpai. Uh, I lost someone that I liked in those murders. Uh, I couldn't save her and she died. If Mr. President was also forced into this world like Saki Senpai, then Damn it, I'll save her. Teddy went through the emergency exit. He went up to the stairs, then the announcement room should be right there. As if my growing desperation wasn't enough, this stupid invisible wall only makes things worse. I managed to calm my racing heart and begin running to make my way to the announcement room. Oh, it's the music room. While avoiding the walls, the next spot I managed to make it to was the music room. Damn it, I want to go up, not down. It was a familiar monitor hanging from the ceiling. So, this is where the next fight's gonna be, huh? Hello! Looks like you're on a roll! Teddy! What did you do with Miss President? Oh, how nice of you to worry about someone else. But you can't let your guard down in this battle. Come on, bring out the next challenger! Smoke begins blowing out as Teddy makes his announcement. Silhouette appears. I can tell who it is already. There's no way I can mistake that shape. Besides, by process of elimination, there's only one more person it could be. Not a go! Uh, whoa, that's the first thing he has to say? Ah, uh, I knew it would be you. And Sister Complex Kingpin, just like the others. Yep, good old you, my partner. And his, uh, embarrassing nickname. But again, Nanako-chan always was precious to you, so... Yosuke, it's true that this is a battle you have long desired, but I have something I want to say first. A battle I long desired? I mean, Yosuke does literally tell you to fight him. I thought that there would be no reason for us to fight until now. Huh? Like, they, they canonically do fight. How dare you, calling your Nanako-chan in that intimate way! <laughs> yes, sir! I'm sorry, sir! <laughs> That's a good pose. He was ready to kill me! I fell as deep as I can, just so I don't have to see his bloodshot eyes. Oh god, it's horrible. If only I had a camera so I could show him this later. I'm forgetting Nanako-san for the moment. <laughs> it seems like there's someone here besides us. She can't use a persona, so I thought maybe she was dropped in here. His eyes turn dead and he raises his sword. Why would you forget Nanako? <laughs> That's ridiculous! I mean, come on, Nanako-chan really likes you, no matter what. She's always telling me how you're such a nice big brother and how you're so cool. I just want him to calm down so we can talk. Maybe if I avoid talking about Nanako, I can steer this conversation in some other direction. Yosuke, enough. You always talk to Nanako? Why? <laughs> Where? What do you mean by always? What was the precise date and time when you spoke to her? <laughs> I need a, you know, need your itinerary right now. I was lying, I'm sorry. What? You were lying? Are you saying that Nanako doesn't like me? That she doesn't think I'm nice or cool at all? <laughs> Why are you so hung up on that? Uh, for heaven's sake, I'm getting really sick of this crap. So let's just fight. We'll get this over with, okay? And then we can both calm down and talk like rational people. I'm not gonna hold back at all. I know you can take it. Anyway, here goes! If he's not gonna listen, then I've got no choice. I'll get him to fight me and bring him back to his senses. 
It's a better use of my time than trying to talk him down anyway. Mm -mm. Sorry, Nanako-chan. Ha <laughs> ha! That Nanako-chan! What a dummy, right? That's it! Your life is forfeit! <laughs> Alright, just as planned. I'll fix you up, partner, with his wrenches. But damn, his eyes are scary. Alright, so it's been a- we took a little break. It's still the same day as the last couple of videos, but uh... I may have forgotten how to play again. Alright. Your knees belong to me! <laughs> Oh god. Oh my god, I am just getting destroyed. Oh god. Uh, we're, we're still barely alive. Alright. Oh, we got punched. We were, we were kind of almost making a bit of a slight comeback there. Alright, let's try this again. I might need to look at the command list again because I've kind of forgotten what he does. It's like all that mid-air stuff that like I kind of just like forget to do. When opponent is attacking. Yeah, I feel like trying to go for that's a trap that's just gonna get me uh fucking murdered. I mean, I feel like that didn't do anything. I'll show you man's potential. I mean, we're... The, your knees still belong to me. Oh god. I tried to go for a throw. I probably shouldn't have. Bro, you literally have no HP. Don't talk to me. Battle is over. He looks up. It's his everyday composed face. Looks like he's back to his good old self. Yosuke, are you back to your usual self? What do you think Yosuke was saying? That's my line, damn it! Oh wait, that's right. Did I seem strange to you? You know, Yukiko said the same thing. Oh wait, said so a Chie. Huh. Well, that's not right. Carnivore Chie, Snow Black Yukiko, Sister Complex Kingpin Yu. I was wondering who'd be powerful enough to brainwash all three of them into acting all weird, but is that what's really going on? None of them remember what they said to me before our matches. Hell, they seem to think that I'm the one acting all weird. Come on, Yosuke being weird? So maybe it's not the case that they're being controlled. What if I was the one being tricked here? Whoa, then that means that I'm the one who needs to wake up? I hurriedly start rubbing my eyes. Maybe I'm still being fooled? I know I'm acting crazy. You opened his mouth to say something. You said that it wasn't your partner, so that was a surprise. Oh, okay. You're breaking up with me? Then I'll just fucking hit you with my sword. I'd ever say that. Yeah. Oh, good. He's relieved. It doesn't show on his face, but I can tell. I guess we're okay now. You Narakami I know is the one sitting right in front of me. So I told you about what's happened so far. Most importantly, the victim. That is, the student council president that Teddy had kidnapped. I see. 
Then the reason the Midnight Channel seemed so clear was because that girl was already in this world? Oh, you're right. I forgot how that worked. He's right. There are two ways that the Midnight Channel appears. When the subject isn't in the TV world yet, the video is all fuzzy and hard to see. But if it's clear, then that means someone's been thrown inside. Looks like our fears were real. There was a victim already. The question is, who put her in here? Uh, I don't know. But whoever came up with this is trying to make us fight each other in the Grand Prix. Maybe they're hoping we'll take each other out since they'd be no match for four Persona users at once. Even as I say it, I start to really believe that it's true. Whenever I talk with you, it's like my brain just clicks right into place. No, it's not just the four of us. Kanji and Naoto are probably in this too. Naoto? You saw them on the video, right? If our enemy is hosting this, they've probably been forced to participate as well. Yes, that's true. Naoto's was something with an IQ of 2,000. That sounds strong. <laughs> no, that's like, it's like 20 times higher than mine. Kanji's was... Um... Beefcake Emperor? <laughs> no way! I don't want to run into him! You... Can't you go on for me? I'm begging you! You've begged me a number of times already. Can't only the winner move on? I mean, real talk, Yosuke does deserve to get hit by Kanji at least a few times. Damn it, he's ecstatic! Inside him, his hat is hard, he's celebrating, clenching his fists, I know it. Shouldn't be a problem if you win. Though if you lose against the Beefcake Emperor, you might be in some trouble. Oh, I don't want to be alone with him! See? Th this is why he deserves to get hit. Damn it! Fine, I'll go. This must be what they mean by you have to cover your ass for the worst. No comment. You'll be fine. You mean me or my ass? Yosuke, come on, man. You, you, this, is, this could have been your redemption arc. No, I mean about saving that girl. You can definitely do this. It's in your hands now. You. Sorry for talking about my ass so much. No, oh, hey, wait. I mean, I was just a little shocked to hear that from him. Up until now, he's always been the one leading the pack, followed by me. And now you's the one telling me that he's relying on me to get things done. He's trusting me. <laughs> Sister complex or no, he's still my friend. Just leave the rest to me, big bro. All right, now, now you definitely deserve to get hit. Uh, I don't think I'm comfortable having you call me that. Hey, I'm not saying that you're my big bro. It's just you were going on and on about Nanako-chan a moment ago, so... Oh, yeah, that wasn't you. I tried to cover my embarrassment by telling a joke, but it didn't seem to help. Uh, now I'm even more embarrassed. Anyway, leave this to me. I'll be going now. Running, running, running! I tried to leave on a height note by acting in high spirits, so I waved to you and dashed out of the music room. Every time I think I'm getting close to the announcement room, I hit another wall and have to take a detour. I finally make it to the third floor, though. And there's another wall, right next to the door to a classroom. More or less an invitation to go inside, right? And to judge from past experiences, I'm in for another battle. Who's my next opponent? The Emperor? His Imperial Highness? No use dreading it. Ah! Presente! I mean, Yosuke-kun! Miss President! Booyah! My ass! Safe. Shut up, Yosuke. I was expecting Kanji, but our student council president and Teddy are waiting for me inside. It looks like I caught up with them. There's a ton of stuff that I need to get straight. I start off by throwing Teddy a single question. Hey, Teddy, what do you love most? A passionate battle with one's life at risk, of course! There we have it. Yep, that's not Teddy. The real one would have said, all the fly honey bears or something. All right then, let's fight. I'll try not to make it hurt too much, but you gotta go down. <laughs> it's like how he's excited to fight. Like, everyone else is like, oh no, I don't want to fight you. Teddy's like, I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. 
I mean, like you're enjoying the Grand Prix, Yosuke. Teddy, just like, just like Yosuke, helped. deserves to get punched a few times. I held this Grand Prix just for you, after all. I'm glad you like it, Yosuke. People have been saying that from the start, and it doesn't make any sense. It's only in this world that you can be serious about anything. Didn't the idea excite you? Wasn't this the first thing you thought when the Midnight Channel came on? Another problem that'll help me change. That wasn't... I can't let that get to me. Teddy's being controlled. Those are the words of whoever's making us fight. But as he continues speaking, it's like he's reading my mind. There is no enemy. You know that, don't you? That case is over and done with. The days where you could be special are all gone. You lost everything, and you've gone back to your boring, mediocre self again. Since you were having a hard time accepting that, I whipped up this Grand Prix. I'm on your side, Yosuke. That's why I'm hosting this for you. There is no enemy. But what Teddy said goes along with something else. You said it. Yukiko said it. This Grand Prix was for me. Don't tell me this whole thing is to fulfill my wishes. I mean, I know that Teddy and Rize's personas are special and that they can connect to people's minds and stuff. And Rize can do a lot of other stuff too. Is it possible for her to make people hear things that nobody's saying when they're talking? And did she use that power to set up this Grand Prix for me? Even in my heart, did I really want this to happen? That's not true. You were so cool, Yosuke. You were stronger than Chie-chan, or Yuki-chan, or even Sensei. You're almost the champion. Don't worry, I'll let you win this one. You're lying! What's wrong? Both of you are acting weird. It's because they are weird. I forgot about her for a minute there. Hey, yeah, what about her? She has nothing to do with this. I've never met her up until now. I prepared that girl as a heroine for you. Let's face it, there's no way you'd get fired up enough to win if there wasn't a pretty girl waiting at the end. Prepared? Yosuke kun? What the hell does he mean, prepared? She's just a normal girl? No way. Teddy didn't push her in here, did he? He didn't get her caught up in this just so that I can win the championship and save the dame, did he? It was way too much for me. I stood there with my mouth gaping wide open, unable to utter a word. No goddamn way. What the hell? I never asked for any of this. How could I want any of this to happen? That preview on the Midnight Channel was pretty good, huh? It's no surprise since you came up with it. My body suddenly froze. That's right. I, I felt it when I saw that ad on the TV, didn't I? That it was beginning. That something I've been waiting for, something that would change me has come again. No, that's not true. Oh no, you can't. That's, that's the words of powers. You can't say that. I, I try to clear that thought out of my head by shouting, but now that that suspicion has snuck its way into my mind, I know that it's stuck there for good. D do I really hate this crazy situation? Can I honestly say that I'm not enjoying it? No, that's not it. Shut up, you're, you're being controlled. I'll help you come to your senses. All right, the Tedster. See how it goes. What was his title? The Beast and something? Okay, I've been I've been blasted my ass. Your knees, they belong to me. Uh, you hear that, Teddy? We're not holding back. Which is why your knees belong to me.
Okay, we did decently there. Granted, Teddy didn't really do anything. Teddy, Miss President, are you okay? Do you need to pause for one second? Be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Yeah, I'm alright. But what was that all about? Aren't you two friends? I can't bear <laughs> the look she's giving me. Not confused, but not judging, so I turn away. Did I really want to beat up my friends? I don't want to believe it. First, I need to ask Teddy where here what his real intentions are. Whatever I may have secretly wanted, that's no reason to push an innocent girl into this TV world. Heck, did Teddy really do that? I bite my lip and wake Teddy up. Ow! That was so mean, Yosuke! Sorry, Teddy. Let's go back. This Grand Prix's over. Huh? It's over? It ended while everyone was making fun of me? Making fun of you? What? You were the host. You had on these weird clothes. That wasn't the real me! Yosuke, even you thought that was me? <laughs> we sleep in the same futon every night, yet you couldn't tell a beast like that apart from me? We don't sleep in the same futon? Wait. Does that mean it's someone else doing this? I wasn't too sure of him either when I first came across him. I mean, what are the odds there'd be two with someone that crazy looking? I keep telling you! Can't you tell just by looking at me? I'm much more adorable than that jerk! Check out the fur! Uh, I don't, I don't want to break it to him, but I honestly can't tell the difference. Wait, back up, huh? The teddy on the monitor is a fake! I calm Teddy down and get him to explain things to me. It seems that the general is some kind of copy of him, and the TV world was already like this when he got here. What the hell? Uh, there is no enemy my ass! Oh yes there is! Anyway, the reason he's with Miss President isn't because he'd captured her, it's because she thought he was the bad guy and was chasing after him. But when she caught up with him, Teddy had begun thinking of himself as her knight in shining armor, so he was going with her to the announcement room. Way to confuse me. I'm doing my best to get myself unframed. You should have seen what a manly knight I was when I defeated Kanji along the way. I, I don't, well, actually, yeah, Teddy could probably beat up Kanji. So Kanji's out of the bracket? God, you <sighs> fucking loser, Yosuke. I, I mean, if you're not the host here, then who set this up for me? You're saying this Grand Prix is for you? Uh, about that, um... I try and figure out some way to explain, but some familiar feeling like a ringing in my ear knocks the thoughts away. I mean, not in my ears, it's in my head, but it's not a sound. It's weak at first, but I know it's getting stronger. It's... Yosuke Senpai, is Teddy with you too? Risa! can hear Risa, but not over the school's PA system. For her to be talking directly into my head like this, she has to be using her persona. And maybe it's just me, but she sounds like she's been crying recently. Or is it about to start soon? I'm so glad. Ever since this weird fake Teddy kidnapped me, I've been all alone. The others are fighting each other too. Oh, oh, I'm here too. And so is Miss President. Miss President? Oh, you're right. I do I sense do one sense more presence, more presence there. there. Who are you guys talking to? Sorry, I'll explain in a sec. <laughs> We're not crazy. We, we promise. Uh... <laughs> hey, Risa, are you okay? The one who's been talking over the PA isn't really you, right? Of course not. I'm not that big of a ditz. I'm in the announcement, in the announcement room, room now. now. General, General Teddy, Teddy was watching, watching me, but he left. He left. So, so I'm using I'm this chance to chance contact, contact you guys. You guys. Hey. Don't do anything reckless, okay? But I can't just sit here and do nothing! Not while you're all being forced to fight! She sounds all ready for action now, but considering how desperate her voice sounded at the beginning, I know she's just trying to act tough. She must have been scared all by herself. Well, duh. Unlike us, she didn't know if there was ever going to be anyone else coming to help her. I awkwardly recap what I know for this her. This Grand Prix might be related to me. Actually, it might all be my fault. Huh? huh? What? What? What the? I don't know really who or what that fake Teddy is. 
But if it's doing this for me, a lot of things start to make sense. If Teddy isn't the one managing this tournament, then that makes all the stuff he said before the fight a lie. But lie or not, it did make sense. I mean, even if Teddy isn't the bad guy here, this Grand Prix is being held for my benefit. I mean, that's pretty much settled. Yeah. I mean, I think I have a good idea of who the poor sucker is. Do you think maybe that fake Teddy didn't leave the room, but actually just disappeared? Huh? Give me a Give second. Me a second. I'll, search I'll search for him. For him. Rize's transmission stops for a second. If my guess is right, then there's a big chance he's already gone. Come on, let it not be there anymore. Rize came back online. Shadow! That fake Teddy's actually a big shadow! He hasn't disappeared? Wow, the size of this one! I think it might be the shadow of someone who entered the TV. But why is it mimicking Teddy? That's what I can't... Hmm? What's up? Uh, the person next to you, Senpai. Is that Miss President? Something strange about the reading I'm getting off of her. Oh, is it? She's got a really weird vibe. No, that's not it. I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> Sorry, something's coming. I gotta cut off this chat now. That's fine. Just don't do anything reckless. I'll try to get to the announcement room as fast as I can. I'll be waiting for you. The enemy's still around. It's not a good idea if he finds out that Riza can use our persona to contact us. Make sure Rize is actually disconnected before I turn back to Teddy. Teddy, wait here. Look after Miss President for me. Gotcha! I'm always up for spending time with a pretty girl like her. He's such a spaz. This is not the time to be fawning over cute girls, even when this hot as Miss President. There's a bad guy out there trying to destroy our friendships. Maybe he can be so easygoing about this because he truly believes that nothing could drive a wedge between us. What am I thinking? Whether that's true or not, he did take down Kanji. I can trust him to look after his president. Anyway, now that Rize's checked, there's one thing I'm certain of. The true identity of General Teddy. I'm sure he's my shadow. I mean, he's the only one who would bother setting up this Grand Prix just for me. I don't know why he's come back, but maybe I've lost my resolve or something? I was hoping that he would just disappear once I'd figured out what it was happening, but I guess things aren't going to be that easy. Jeez, the thought of Teddy being the culprit was pretty hard to swallow, but this is even worse. I mean, this is completely my fault. Uh, looks like I'm just gonna have to pay my shadow another visit. But just as I make up my mind to try and leave the classroom, Miss President blocks my path. Hey, what's going on? I demand an explanation! There's no time for that. Sorry, but you can ask Teddy about it. I heard you say just a moment ago that this Grand Prix is for you. In which case, I gotta ask you as student council president. Uh, did you get this a proof of a proper channel? You go into the announcement room. You gotta let me come too. You can explain things to me once we're there. You can't come with me. It's too dangerous. I'm just gonna lay it on the line for you here. That power you saw when we fought is called the Persona. And this is no normal tournament. I'll be fine. I'm plenty strong, you know. But you can't use a persona. And this isn't a normal school either. Ugh, how can I explain this? I'm the one that said I'm going to the announcement room first. Don't be a copycat. <laughs> Fucking got him. Huh? That's not your problem, miss. I'm all ready to give her a verbal smackdown, but the look on her face is so serious that I have to pause. He eventually begins to speak with embarrassment. What she said over the PA bothered me. All that about how I get in the way, as student council president. I gotta have a talk with her about this. She mean the PA we heard when I first met her? You aren't worth anyone's effort? You just get in the way and cause trouble for the people around you. Don't let it get to you. It was just a stunt to make the Grand Prix exciting. Wait, huh? If this Grand Prix is all for me and she just got caught up in it, what's the point in belittling her, her like that? Of course it bothers me. I like this school. Even if it does look kind of weird. She whimpers slightly. Dude, she's like a different person from the confident girl I met before. Uh, fine, I guess it can't be helped. 
I am to blame for all this happening to her, but I can't just admit it like that, so I smile jokingly and hold out my hand. How about going on a date with me? A romantic getaway in the announcement room. Alright, that's a good way to make her want to stay here. Alright, you're on. Alright, that's how you know this is fake. Whoa, even if she's only going along with the joke, I asked her out, and she said yes, awesome. Wait! What about me? I want to go on a date too, you can't leave me out! Oh, sorry, you lost, so you can't leave. Don't worry though, we'll be back soon. Yeah, and there's uh, like an umbrella on that uh, d desk you can play with, I guess. No! The date slipped through my claws! <laughs> Miss President, Yosuke is a nice, dependable guy. Not as much as me, though. <laughs> Aw, thanks for looking after me this far. I'm glad to find out you're not the culprit. See ya. Be a good bear, okay? Miss President and I leave the classroom together. Teddy desperately tries to follow, but the invisible wall stops him cold. He keeps charging at the wall, but every time he does, he just bounces off like a tennis ball being tossed against a glass window. When he finally gives up, he waves his stubby little arms to cheer us on. Yosuke, you better not lose! You gotta protect Miss President! And don't try anything funny with her! Shut up, I'm not you! That Teddy, well, that's just how he is. Man, I kinda wanna smack him, but I'm smiling all the same. The invisible walls block the way as usual. I'm starting to feel really anxious, but I can't let it show. I know that it would make Miss President here worry. We're making progress slowly but surely. I have to keep trusting that we'll get there. I really like this school. That was unexpected. Well, I'm not surprised since you ran for student council president. Good job winning that, by the way. Oh yeah, what's your name? My name? Oh no, oh god. I mean, I can't call you Miss President forever, right? I guess your name was on the posters around school during elections, but I tend to ignore those. No offense. He clams up, so I try and get her to open up a little more, but what she says next takes me by surprise. My name? I, I don't know. Huh? I can't remember it at all. I've been trying all this time, but I, I can't even remember what I was doing before now. Same goes for my name. I completely forgot that I must have a real name too, until you asked me about it. That ain't normal, is it? I wonder why that's happening to me. Uh, it's probably because you've been in here for a long time. You've seen a bunch of other weird things in here, right? Well, now that I think about it, the victims who were dropped into this world had scrambled memories with bits and chunks missing. So it's definitely possible that she can't remember her name. Oh. You mean like those persona and shadow things? What are those? Ah, uh, nobody knows. She seems really upset about this. I bet that's only putting more pressure on her. We've seen a lot. Maybe an explanation would help her calm down a little. I decide to answer every question she has, one at a time. Well, a shadow is another side of you. It's what you're not conscious of, or more like the feelings you didn't want to admit you had. Everyone has a side like that an ugly part of themselves, and most people hate to admit it exists. But if you accept it, it becomes a persona, a power that can protect you. So you have to accept yourself. I went through that once, but it seems like my shadow's back. Well, I'll just have to accept it again. I sure hope that's all I have to do. Of course, I can't say that part out loud. Also, Yosuke, if you make the mistake and say the words of power and cause it to do a boss fight, oh, you motherfucker. I taught like I was confident, but in reality, I'm really nervous. How can I be smiling when I'm so worried? It's crazy, right? I look at her and try and gauge how she's feeling. It sounds rough. You think since I can't remember anything, the same's happening to me? Don't worry, I'm sure you're just in a little bit of shock right now. Oh great, now I've got her all nervous too. Trying to cheer her up, I try and play up the good parts. You remember that you're the student council president, right? I'm sure you just need a little help to remember everything else. You think so? <laughs> You've been a real big help, Yosuke-kun. Huh? Me? Did I do something? Mm-hmm. 
You sure have. She finally smiles. It's only a little one, but it's there. Huh? Is this really the first time I've seen her smile? Hot damn, she is really cute. I start to get embarrassed about having faked asking her out on a date and my feet speed up. Crap, now I'm literally running away from her. Uh, talk about chicken hearted. Finally, and I do mean finally, we stand in front of the announcement room. Miss President and I exchange a glance. Then I summon all my courage and throw the door open. I'm expecting to see the fake Teddy, or should I say my shadow, in the room. Huh? Riza is the only one in here. Yosuke Senpai! Are you alright? Where's the shadow? You mean the fake Teddy? He hasn't come back at all. I sense this weird presence, but I don't know what it is. Rize looks around nervously. I look around too. I haven't been in the announcement room that often, but I can tell this isn't anything like the real one. The room is huge with monitors everywhere. Not to mention the giant window taking up an entire wall with a crazy view outside. Yeah, this is crazy town, alright. But what's this weird presence that Rize's talking about? <laughs> What are you freaking out about? This is your chance to save a pretty girl and become a hero, right, Yosuke? Huh? That's... Yosuke-kun's voice. I slowly turned to the voice direction. There was no one there a second ago, but now suddenly there is, and he has my face. His inhuman gold eyes narrow in a taunting way. <sighs> Looks like I was right. Hey there, Yosuke. Yosuke Senpai's shadow? Man, this isn't getting any easier. But at least I can confront him without freaking out like I did last year. I thought you merged back with me. I'll come, come out anytime, anytime you start, start ignoring me. me. I'm, I'm always watching, watching you. you. I, I am you after me. all. This is a shadow? Yeah, that's right. You're me. You're the weakness in my heart. I admit it. Now get back here. I blurt it out before I have time to get second thoughts. Th this should do it. Then the shadow starts laughing instead. <laughs> Not bad, but that's exactly what I mean by ignoring me. You haven't changed at all since then. You just cover up whatever you don't want to see and paper over it. That's why I've returned. I'm not your persona anymore. Don't tell me. Hold on a sec. Does that mean... Forget logic, it's faster to just try it. My nervous voice fills the announcement room and that's it. My persona Jiraiya doesn't appear. Said the shadow begins laughing even harder. No way. So you really are. To be honest, I was still doubtful. I had hoped that he wasn't my shadow. I mean, of course I didn't want to believe I was the cause of this Grand Prix mess, let alone admit that I was actually enjoying it. My shadow's right. All I was doing was ignoring the problem. My fists clench, my knees lock, and my entire body shakes. Is this because I was weak? Is that why everyone got dragged into it? Yep. Because I wanted a crisis to solve again. Because the case ended and I was bored? You got, you got it. it. I'm, I'm sure, sure you understand without me having to tell you. I couldn't save Saki Senpai. I didn't want to ever lose someone again. But I still wished for this. I was proud that Inuma was peaceful, and I thought that I could finally be proud of putting Saki Senpai's death behind me. And yet was I really faking all that? In the end, am I just a loser who puts his own boredom over the death of a loved one? Senpai. I could hear the quivering in Rize's voice. No. This isn't true. Don't look at me. This isn't me! Oh no! Desire. He's gonna say the words of power! Trust me, I know. I am you, after all. I could feel myself ready to fall to my knees. I can't use my persona anymore. I thought I had changed. But now I'm literally lost everything. I have to accept that my mind knew what to do, but my heart still raged against it. Even before I knew what I was saying, the words were flying from my mouth. You're not... I, you motherfucker. No, senpai, look at me! 
me. I lift my eyes to look at Rize. There she was with Miss President standing next to her. It was tough seeing the looks on their faces. I look away quickly, but Rize scolds me. No matter what weaknesses you might have, we'll never stop liking you. Oh, uh, finally someone interrupted them before they say the words of power? So please, don't deny who you are. Why'd you have to get in the way? Here, I finally got in touch with the others. Listen to them. Rize closes her eyes and folds her hand, as if in prayer. I see the elegant shape of her persona appear behind her. At that instant, voices pour out into my head. These are... You moron! <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Who do you think we are? Yosuke-kun, we heard everything. But there's nothing for you to be afraid of. I don't really get what's going on, but if it's gonna keep showing up, you just gotta beat the crap out of it every time. See, that's like Kanji's best boy. He's like not, like, he's just so good. We're all with you, Yosuke. You can rely on me too, you know. Anyone can fall prey to the same troubles and insecurities. It's not just you, senpai. It's true for all of us. Everyone. My vision suddenly clears. I hadn't even realized that I was squeezing my eyes shut. Huh? Naoto? How come you're here? That's... that's... well... <laughs> Who cares why? There's more important stuff at stake here! And after Chie, the clearest voice of all. You won the battle against yourself back then, but you can't do it this time? Yosuke, believe in us! When I hear my partner's voice, I draw a ragged breath. I catch myself and inhale deeply, not noticing until now just how much I had tensed up in the last few moments. Rize, the bringer of these voices, turns to me. From the smile on her face, I know that she expects me to feel better now. And even though she has to be scared right now, she cares enough to smile for me when I'm feeling down. I... That's right. I finally realized the simplest truth. The biggest difference between the person I was last year and the person I am now. Now I have friends that accept me, even when I doubt myself. I... And even when he's occasionally problematic. How could I not believe in myself? How could I be too weak to stand up? They're all believing in me. I'm not alone. Not anymore. I'm such an idiot, aren't I? Yes. A grade A moron. I raise my head and look straight at my shadow. Any trace of the fear I had is completely gone. I thought I overcame my weakness and I was done with it for good. Dude, how naive was that, right? What? what? I'm weak. I'll probably always be weak, but that doesn't mean I need to run away. I'll keep fighting my weakness, and I'll do it as many times as it takes, even if that never stops. <clears throat> my heart is calm. I was conflicted just a moment ago, but now everything has been made clear. They believe in me, and knowing that I feel their faith in me pushing me forward. I can feel the power surging in me, the force feeling my spirit Causes me to shout out. Persona. Oh, the anime friendship. All right, that's gonna be uh, it for this video. We will continue on and probably, f maybe not. F I don't know if we'll finish Yosuke's thing, but at least we'll get to like the to be continued, for, like we gotten to use. I don't know if we actually can finish his yet or not. I don't exactly know how these work out. Um. But yeah, we'll we'll find out and next time. I'm extra cheesy eighty seven. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye guys.